why am I against Ripple? And I'm just going to explain it through the charts. I have a few friends or acquaintances that were pro Ripple or XRP. And I've seen a few videos recently, people pushing for XRP, thinking, oh, it's the next run. Don't be delusional. Look at the chart. Let the chart decide, especially if you've been holding for so long. So here we have, in the past 2018 or 17 top, we had this dead bear market and we saw on this ripple against or XRP against Bitcoin, it went down. So in this bear market and sideways market, from the top, it went down 96%. So if you had XRP, it would be 96% down if you had Bitcoin. So that's, that's a fact. In this bull run, and just say the bull run started right here with the COVID era, Bitcoin started to go up in price and XRP came to a level and this is a critical level. And you can see all the way through, it's a critical level. And it found support and it, it did have a, a, a bit of a run, but when XRP really got going, sorry, when Bitcoin really got going, XRP dropped. This could be based on the law, um, based on the legal challenge. We've got a double bottom here, which is interesting. That would have been a good move. I probably, I'll probably call it back then. And that's why we had this move to the upside. Perfect. So this level is strong resistance. We've, we've got evidence. And this bear market. Bitcoin drops price, XRP loses more. And then it comes to this position. Now, from there to there, you would have lost 56% if you kept um, Bitcoin and rather than having XRP, you would have been 56% 56, 56 up more. Now, what we look at here on this chart is there is a clear level of major resistance now. So we can use that. And that's since uh, 2019 and probably three years, four years, it's going, it's going to be continuously going down. Here we have similar to this level in some, this level has been resistance. So let's just chuck our Fibonacci onto it. I'd like to see how it lines up. We'll put our Fibonacci to one and let's just, um, Put the default settings so the 0.618 just above so this 0.786 is the main resistance so let's just clean this up a bit it's a bit nasty in that sense So we had this descending wedge of some sort or descending channel more so. So that's, that was a nice clear breakout. You can see that there was a big stronghold and the RSI helped us. So this is a weekly chart. So that, that gave us a reason to jump in from Bitcoin to XRP while it's going sideways. I've got neither either. Even if you weren't on XRP, jump to XRP, you, you just, I suppose you just accumulate more Bitcoin in that sense. But now we've seen this weekly level and bearish divergence. You can see that on the weekly level, high and a smaller lower high. So it looks like we're having a, an ascending wedge and this is really going south. It, it might get a bit of a bounce soon, sooner or later. So we're coming to this level. And we might get a bounce there, but I don't expect much and then come back down again. So we might get that top, but guys, that's where you sell and take profit. If, it, if you still got ripple and if it drops below that level, I would take, I would put my stop loss there. 
let's have a closer look on the, the three day. Let's see how the three days looks. Okay, so the three day is really dropping down. And uh, let's look at the RSI to give us a clue. So that's really, it's really lost that level and it doesn't look like it's going to turn back anytime soon. Might, but it, this is a clear, de clear level that you better have your stop losses. Um, if we look on the smaller time period, on the eight hour, yeah, that's a topping off structure. To me, that is a topping off structure. A wipe off top, selling, buying climax, automatic response. So that's the neckline, guys. And we had the up thrust. So buying climax, up thrust. This is, this is likely to drop to this level and then either it's going to go up or further down and back again. I can't, if, if this was to go to the next one, then that's our UA TD, TAD. And if you look at the Wyckoff, let me just bring it out. So for those who haven't seen it, nope, that's not the one. So the, that's the one. So we might have that form formation just the last effort to go up wick and back down and i'm bearish i think the alts are going to cop a beating at the moment we might get a bounce here you can see the rsi on the eight, four hour is finding support and uh let's see what it's going to do i can't use that it's trying to do it. I like to see it go past this moving average. 50% is what on the four hour. Yeah, but I do see this as a topping off structure. And then we come back down. So when we look on the free day, you can see you can see that that major resistance is is not going to disappear at all. Yep. Actually, I should have put the one a bit higher. Not sure why I didn't do that. This, oh, I suppose I was looking on the weekly. So if we do the one there, right there, then you see how these all these fibs are aligned. Not always. There's also the extension. So if we were to do this, Yeah, the 0.5 is probably the major resistance there. Yeah, I don't see this going higher, guys. That's the target. Based on this channel, that was the first target. The second target, which we did, and realistically right there is the third target. So we might get a slightly bit more higher, but I see where this trend line touches. That's the target. Based on some method I have. But yeah, and when we get there, this area, if it gets there, back down, we might get a capitulation for Bitcoin and then further up. And in, in many cases, you see, as the bull run starts, ripple drops. Be careful. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully that gives you some information on the levels, Fibonacci structure, but I don't see this being a inverted head and shoulders. No way near. Just uh, we've got this upward motion like that. And it could be a bearish sign. And then down. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Talk to you soon. Cheers.